There is no doubt that Tabby's Place is a remarkable organization. Since its opening in 2003, they have saved almost 1,000 cats. 800 of these have been adopted out, and 20 to 25% of those have had special needs. These have included cats that are blind, missing limbs, or that are FIV positive. Tabby's Place acts as a wonderful microcosm for illustrating the support structure that exists between humans and cats. On one hand, cats, which in many cases would be deemed unsalvageable, are given a chance. Um, the Tabby's Place philosophy is that we do not, we do not euthanize cats based on medical, medical uh, problems. Um, so we are a no-kill facility, and what that means is that we end up with a lot of cats that have some difficult medical issues. Um, it makes the job challenging to have such, such challenging cases, um, but more interesting. And I'm amazed sometimes at how much we're able to help some of these cats when we normally would give them a death sentence. They will go on and live happy and, you know, good quality lives for a significant period of time. On the other hand, whether the cats become permanent residents at Tabby's Place or are adopted out, they offer tremendous amounts of support for the humans they interact with, be it the families that adopt them, or the staff and volunteers who get to be with them on a daily basis. Despite all the hardships of their past and lifelong limitations, these cats still offer all those things we as cat lovers just can't seem to get enough of. Each has their own personality and special beauty. They can make you laugh, cry, drive you absolutely nuts, or cheer you up on a day that isn't going so well. At times, they can be ridiculously affectionate, and at other times, to them, you are simply an inconvenience that brings them food and cleans their litter box. Even with cats that require more support than others, the support that they give back to us makes it all worthwhile. And I'm just always amazed at how beautiful each cat is uh, when I look at them. Um, I just can't get over, we have so many of them, we get used to them, but each one to me is, is such a treasure when you, when you really start to interact with them. It's, it's sad to see how many we have sometimes because they don't get, I think, the appreciation that they deserve. But I always think that if cats, um, if there was only one or two cats in the world, we would worship them the way the Egyptians did, you know, because there's just, they're just such beautiful creatures. Mm -hmm.